Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be this nice ombre effect going on with the eyes. It's like a purple, mauve look, I guess you can say. I like it, it looks really cute. It's perfect for, honestly, any day to be honest. I say like perfect for like going out at night or just anything. Just You could also change the lip. I just went crazy went with the purple lip. But you guys could do any type of lip with this look. It looks really good. It's natural, simple. It's very nice, so if you like this makeup tutorial, or if you like this makeup on me, just keep watching. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Cut Brow for my eyebrows, but I'm going to be doing that off camera. So I'll be right back. So now I'm back with some brows, and I carved out my brows with this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup um, in Soft Beige. It's like a foundation, but I actually like the consistency of it, so it just like carved out my brows, and it looks pretty good. To set that all in place, I'm going to be using this Quivelle, Quivelle, Quivelle. Um, I don't really know, it's just like this nice little brush. But I'm going to be taking this little bit of white right here, and this color right here, and just dust that off, and then just pop that all in. this Morphe brush and I'm going to be using this color right here as a transition shade. So yeah, I'm just going to be focusing this right in the crease and outer V. And I'm just going to like wing it out in a way. And then lightly bring that into the inner corner, just very lightly. But you want to focus it more on the outer V, bring it out, and then like the outer crease. going to be taking this Morphe R40 blush, blush, this Morphe R40 brush, and I'm going to, oops, er, and I'm going to be taking this color right here, oh my god, I'm going to be focusing this color in the outer V and like upper crease as well. So now I'm going to be going back in that brush that I set my whole lid with. And I'm just going to be blending the edges a little bit. Uh -huh. Like up here. Just blend a little bit. So you don't want no harsh lines. You always gotta blend, guys. Always blend, 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 blend. Now I'm going to take this Morphe M515 brush and I'm going to be using this dark, can you guys see? This dark color right here. Just gonna swoop it in there. Always brush it off, remember? And this, I'm just gonna focus on my lash line, I guess you can say. Just like a. Just on the outer V though, you want to like, on the lash line, you know, just like, kind of like, you want to wing it out, like if you're winging out a liner, so just like, you know, you want to like, bring it out. Now I'm going to take this Morphe M502 brush, and I'm going to be using the, the light color right there and mixing it in a little with this one. We're just going to blend. I'm gonna make sure it's like nice, the 
liner that we created with that shadow, we want to like blend the like inward, I guess you could say. Now I'm going to be taking this Kivenge, Kivenge, um, so it's, like a, it's kind of like a flat shader brush, I guess you can say. And I'm going to be going in with, I guess, this shade right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of that white setting bone shader in here, whatever. Always got to dust it off. And then I'm going to be applying this on to my lid, where I love space for no shadow. Actually, I'm going to go in a little bit more of that white shade. Um, pretty much like, you kind of want to carve out a crease in a way. Or carve out your own crease or however you're doing this. Because you want to give it like that nice like effect. Of, I'm going to zoom it like, like that. Like you want to, yeah, you want to have it like, like right there. And you want to make sure it's like nice and blended. Blend it in right there. Just a little like, well, like, stroke. Little like, stroke. And that's pretty much our completed look right there. But I'm not done yet. Now, to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be taking this Ofra Bliss or Bliss or Blissful Highlight. I don't know, but it's bomb. Bomb, like this is bomb, like Ofra's formula for their highlighters. I honestly would have to be like the best formula out there because they're honestly the best, like the best. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Oh, oh, oh wow. Just today I'm going to be using these Huda Beauty lashes in the style Jade. These lashes are stunning. Whoa, why do I got orange in here? Did y'all can see that? You can get these at Sephora or on the Huda Beauty lash. HudaBeauty.com, I guess. And I'm going to be using this dual lash glue and I'm going to be applying that lash off camera so I will be right back. So let's get it going to priming the face. So for today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional. And I want to focus this mainly on my core area. So it should be clean and present here. So now, since I am oily on the nose, I use this trick that I learned from Jackie Ina here on YouTube and she likes to set her face with some type of loose powder because she tends she has oily skin. So I'm only oily on my nose. So I'm just going to apply some of this Laura Mercier powder and just pack that on my nose. I'm gonna put a little more right there. So for foundation today, I'm going to be doing a mixture of the Becca Ultimate Complete Complexion Creme and the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup and Soft Beige. And this I'm going to be using actually just on my nose. Going in with this Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. It has like a nice like thick, like, um, bristles, I guess. So I'm just going to be using this just a little tiny bit just to dab it in there. I'm just going to do that since I'm used to it. So I'm just going to be applying this directly to my nose. So not to be actually going to use the back part of this right here. And I'm going to be using like two pumps of my Becca foundation. It's very, very thick. So since it's very thick for that reason, it tends to get a little cakey sometimes. But I like to use this dry oil 
that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag is from Nux, Nux Paris. It's the Huli, Huli, Pro, Proteus, or I believe, or, or it means probably or gold. But it is a multi-purpose dry oil. Morphe G36 brush, but it's way too pumped. Yep. So for concealer today, I like to mix this Maybelline Master Conceal in Medium and the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And it just gives me like that nice, perfect like highlight underneath. I'm applying that on my under eye. When you're off, you have our eyeshadow there. So now I'm going to be using my damp beauty blender and I'm going to dip blend! So now I'm going to be baking my face or setting my concealer, baking, whatever, with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm using this Real Techniques sponge. I'm just going to be applying that right under my under eye. And I would like to pack it in. So now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powders. I'm using this one from the Matte and Poreless number 220 and from the Set and Smooth 240. I like to mix these, mix these to give me like that nice little coverage and I love the finish of these two mixed together. For this, I like to just pounce it in. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with this Morphe brush. It's a little... I don't know. I love... Oh, I'm just turn it on. But I'm going to be using that bronzer to bronze up my face. And kind of use it as a contour in a way. I don't really like to contour. I usually just use a bronzer and just like, you know, chisel off the cheeks. And it usually works for me. I honestly don't even know, so... the nose using this Morphe and for 12. So now for blush, you already know, make these chicks a little blush. It's like someone just gave me a compliment. It's just like, oh, stop it. But yeah, I'm going to be using this favorite, favorite, favorite blush. It's by Milani Cosmetics and it is Luminous. And I'm picking this up with the Luxie 504 brush. I love this brush because it doesn't, it doesn't really pick up a lot of products, so it's just like a nice little like touch of like with the blush. And just, you, know, so. you got it. Put the pump bed everywhere. So now what I do before putting on my highlight is I like to use the Max Fix Plus and I just like to to set my face a little bit. A little nice and dewy. So today for highlight, as you guys probably already guessed it, is I used it on my brow bone, but it's my favorite, favorite Ofra highlighter. I'm going to be using this Morphe highlighting brush from the Copper Dream set. And I'm just going to go with the highlighter. I'm just... Look at that, you guys. Yeah, 
Yes. Come on, skin. Work. So now to set the face, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Fix Plus. And just... Nice and glowy and... I just said glowy. Go out with bitch. So to keep it going with the purple vibe, I think I'm just going to use this Urban Decay Oblivion Mega Matte Lipstick. But it's like this nice, like, mauve color. And I'm just going to be using it on my lips. So to keep it going with the purple 